All right, so you got these reels that were made for braided line, right? Braided line's very strong and very thin, so now you got the reels that are capable of providing 30, 40 pounds of drag. Where are the rods to match those, right? It's been a challenge because you either get a graphite rod, which is very light, but has no load capabilities, right? You overamp a high modulus graphite rod, it's gonna shatter. The other alternative is fiberglass, which is very heavy, very cumbersome, so it's, it, it doesn't match uh, these smaller uh, high performance reels well. So what Shimano did is they took the success of the Travala rods. The Travala rods were made with a material called TC4. They were made for uh, butterfly jigging, right? So in butterfly jigging, you're gonna drop a jig to the bottom and jig it up all day long. So as a result, those Travala rods had to be uh, very thin, very light, very easy to spend all day jigging. TC4 is a material that fuses T-glass with a high modulus graphite scrim around the outside of the rod. You know, the long and short of it is that you're able to take these rods now that have an extremely thin diameter and yet are capable of carrying tremendous loads. The Travala rods are already on the market now. These are not them, okay? A lot of people started using those Travala rods in all kinds of applications, bottom fishing, casting, you know, all kinds of applications. So Shimano decided to take it a step further, change the componentry of these rods, change the actions, the length, and really make a series of boat rods called Terras. And that's really what these are. These are the prototypes for the terrace rods that are gonna be out on the market. So some of the key features of this, again, are the uh, a TC4, very, very thin. It's extremely light to match the smaller reels uh, and the high performance drag settings that those reels can uh, deliver. With the spinning reels, this is a spinning rod here, the guides are different. These are new guides, tangle-free guides. You can see that everything is sloped upward like that. The idea being is that when you're casting these things, there's a tremendous amount of, of line loop that comes off the spool, so it slaps the spool. A lot of times it'll come around the guide and wrap. With these type of new guides, that line will completely come off of that no matter what, and each guide is uh, gonna be tangle-free, including the tip. Here's another rod. These are more casting rods specifically for topwater fishing for bluefin tunas with big plugs, 80 pound test line, big reels. These concept guides are a uh, very small diameter. They help channel all the line energy so that when you're casting uh, one of the big 1800 or 2000 size Stellas, the line will go through these guides, funnel it down, you'll get about 15, 20% uh, more casting distance with these rods. At the same time, again, extremely light, very easy to cast and, and use all day long, yet extremely powerful. Another cool thing is the, uh, the reel seats. You know, the whole effort for these things have been to lighten them and just make high performance uh, components that can stand up to the loads that you're gonna put on them. As you can see, this is the skeletonized reel seat. There's been some pieces taken out of it. Right there, there's a little chunk of aluminum taken out, and here's some other just in an effort to lighten this whole reel seat without compromising the strength that these uh, metal reel seats can deliver, okay? Very key thing. We're actually going to um, match these reels up on some of the new Terra's rods, and uh, we're gonna fish with them, we're gonna test them next week, and uh, we'll be back to you and let you know how they do.